Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite, and today we are going to tap into the second dimension of your photographs to show you how you can make a beautiful color correction to your image. So this is the after, this is what I'm gonna show you how to do, and this is the before. Look at how bad that white balance is. Before, after, let's hop in. So I'm about to show you the most natural way to reduce a color cast or a bad white balance selection in your images. And we're going to do that with something called the inverted image. It's a second dimension in our photo editing process where anywhere in your layers palette, you can tap into this second dimension. It's nothing crazy. It's just the inverse of the image that you're working with. So this information comes from a new course I've created called Photoshop Foundations, the inverted image. And we talk about a lot of different techniques that we can use the inverted image for. So this image right here is Kansas City, and it was a very poor white balance selection on my part. I know, uh, maybe I was doing that for educational purposes, wink, wink. <laughs> so what I need to do here is I need to tap into this second dimension, okay? So I'm gonna go to my background layer and I'm gonna press Command or Control J to duplicate it. Now I need to invert this to get into that second dimension because what that's going to tell me is it's going to tell me the exact color that I need to use to offset this poor white balance choice. Okay. So if I press command or control I, boom, that's the second dimension. All it is is the inversion of the image that we're working with. Okay. But now we need to see what color we need to add to this image in order to make that color cast go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these colors into a blender and see exactly what one color I need to add to this photograph. So I'm going to go up to filter. I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to go to average. So what this is telling us is if we were to basically make a protein shake of color, this is what color it would look like. It's every color blended together that is in that inverted image to give me the one color that I need to apply to this photograph to immediately get rid of that color cast. So want to see if it works? We'll go up here. We'll go from normal to soft light. And it did a pretty darn good job right there, didn't it? But you're thinking, well, Blake, it's really not that great. I know, I know, watch this. I'll go down to my adjustment layers and I'll click on the hue saturation adjustment layer. So what I need to do here is I, I need to make a clipping mask. So I'm gonna press alt or option and I'm gonna click in between this hue saturation adjustment layer and this layer one or my color that I need to correct this image. That's gonna make this hue saturation adjustment layer only affect this blue layer. So the two areas on this HSL adjustment layer that are going to fix that color temperature are going to be saturation and lightness. Saturation to get the color exactly where I need it to be and lightness to get the intensity of that color to where I need it to be. And boom, look at that. So what's the difference between doing this in Adobe Camera Raw? Well, if you do it in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, if you use Lightroom, you have two sliders. You have tint temperature, right? Well, if you move that temperature slider to the left or the right to make it more blue or more yellow, all you're doing is it making it more blue or more yellow based on what their intensity of yellow is and what their intensity of blue is. Here, we get to dictate exactly what that saturation and intensity of that color is that needs to offset the white balance of our image. And more importantly, it tells us exactly what color we need to use to offset that white balance. So if I go ahead and turn off this background layer, this is the blue color that we're putting soft light on top of our background layer to get this color correction. Here it is with that hue saturation off. So this was much better, but this is much better. And I can even get this even more intense to make that sky as dark as I want to. And then if we look at the blue of this image, there we are. Now, because we have our saturation and our intensity or our lightness in check here, we now have the best way to do color grading. And that's by using this hue slider. So if I move the hue slider to the right, I get a really natural looking color grade because the white balance has already been fixed by the saturation lightness underneath. Pretty cool, huh? Well, watch this. So you probably might not believe me that this actually works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up another image and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna press Command or Control J. I'm gonna tap into that second dimension by pressing Control I. I'm gonna throw that into a blender to get the exact color that I need. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change that to soft light. So right off the bat, does it look better? Yes, but I'm gonna to go to that hue saturation adjustment layer, make that clipping mask so that it only affects that blue color. And now I can increase the, the saturation of that blue and increase or decrease the intensity of that blue that we're adding to that image. 
And of course, we can always put a mask on here too. So if maybe your foreground is getting a little bit too blue, you could always come into this layer one right here. You could go ahead and make a mask and then come over to your gradient tool and boom, you can add a nice gradient there to recover some of that yellow that we have in the foreground, but get a nice blue sky in the background. So as I said before, we're tapping into the second dimension of our images here uh, and make it sound a lot more sexier than it actually is by telling you that you're tapping into the second dimension when really all you're doing is inverting your image. But the data that's in that inverted image is natural data. You're not superficially pushing and pulling a slider to manipulate the pixels in the image. You're using the data that's already available in that photograph to your advantage. In the course, Photoshop Foundations, the inverted image, we talk about how we can boost saturation, how we can boost contrast, how we can add probably one of the most amazing sharpening techniques that you'll ever see all with that inverted image. There is a lot of power here in that inverted image. And we discuss many other things that we can do with that inverted image. So again, my name is Blake Rudis with F64 Academy and F64 Lead. If you like this, you gotta share it because I know that you got a friend that needs to see it. And please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel and turn the little bell on so you get notifications when new videos hit the YouTube channel. And as always, you can always find me on f64academy.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. Thank you.